Vladimir Lenin said, give me your four-year-olds, and in a generation, I'll build a socialist state. Is it just me, or is that happening right now? I still remember in the late 90s, as I was getting ready to graduate high school, that I started seeing more and more open acceptance for socialism. And now today, you can almost say it's mainstream. No doubt, if we go down this road, communism is the next step. Vladimir Lenin also said that. That's why I nearly had an aneurysm after willingly sitting through the autistic ramblings of Sonny Holston on the spew. I I'm happy actually, that some people have had this change of heart because, you know, ever since we started talking about coronavirus, this is something that I've been bringing up. The reason that we haven't been able, I think, in this country to contain this as well is because when people are feeling symptoms, they are unable to stay home and self-quarantine is a shame in what we want to call the greatest country in the world. Feed your family. Yeah. I'm going to give you paid leave. I think that is a wonderful thing. And that is sort of a socialism type Type concept. So is uh, universal health care. Those are classically social you know, list you know, concepts. I, I, accusing news outlets, I can't even believe, they're accusing news outlets of rooting for the virus. What you think is going on with, with these crazed conspiracy theories from right-wing media. Nope, the left isn't politicizing the coronavirus at all. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't this virus start in a socialist state with nationalized health care? And for that matter, doesn't Italy have a nationalized health care system? According to Time Magazine, it's underfunded and they don't have enough doctors or a plan to deal with the pandemic. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. Stephen King once wrote, Panic is highly contagious, especially in situations where nothing is known and everything is in flux. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. The experts at My Patriot Supply have told me that orders have now reached about 100 times normal volume and they're shipping on a first come, first served basis. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. I'm so tired of these rich entertainers promoting socialism as so great when they owe their upper class status to capitalism. If I had to take a wild guess, I'd say that the vaccine for the coronavirus is probably going to come from the U.S. Thanks to the vast amounts of money that get dumped into R&D. And just because the vast majority of medical advancements and innovations come from the U.S. If we were a socialist state, where would all the drive and innovation come from? Who would be making all the medical advancements if not for us? It's no secret that socialism breeds losers and mediocrity. I mean, just look at the failing left-wing publication Newsweek that once declared, we are all socialists now. Oh, I'm sure they love that, being a far-left propaganda outlet in a socialist state. Now, back to the politicizing of this outbreak. Everywhere you look, you see left-wingers and Democrats doing that very thing. Just check out some of these headlines. CNN's Dem Hat compares responses. Obama's like Gettysburg Address. Gee, that's weird because thousands had died before he declared a national emergency and 12,000 Americans died overall. The DNC media is hilariously attempting damage control on that fact by claiming that Obama declared a public health emergency in April of 2009. First of all, a public health emergency is not the same thing as a national emergency. And second, it was health officials that made this announcement, not Obama. The Associated Press, huh? More like the administration's press. Obama's, that is. Politicizing. MSNBC declares coronavirus to be Trump's Chernobyl. MSNBC touts coronavirus as gift for Biden? They're calling the coronavirus outbreak a gift for Joe Biden. I can't even believe... 
They're accusing news outlets of rooting for the virus. CBS worries unconcerned Republicans could get us all sick. There's a poll out this morning showing that Republicans are much less concerned than Democrats about contracting the illness. And if they're, they're less concerned, the question is, will they take these precautions seriously? Are the Republicans ever not framed as the villain? It's infuriating to watch all this and then turn on CNN to hear Tater calling it all a right-wing conspiracy theory. Just last week on MSNBC, Joy Reid was fear-mongering about the children of Trump supporters infecting your children. These people who believe Trump over facts, over science, over anything, Trump supporters who, you know, God love them, they believe anything that Donald Trump said. Right. You may have people who are willfully refusing to check that sniffle because they think it's, it's not a true. Fraud. It's, a, it's, right. a, it's, it's a myth that's meant to undercut Donald Trump. And they still so, go to school with your kids. So, and they still so, go to school with your kids. It's an obvious tactic and just shows you the lengths that they're willing to go. It was the Obama administration's Rahm Emanuel who said, never let a good crisis go to waste. And they're not. The reason that the people in the media are comparing all of this to a gift or as an upside for Democrats is because they see political benefit for Democrats. If any of you watching, still wonder why Trump and some of his supporters call the media the enemy of the people this is a perfect example hey thanks for watching please like share and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and you agree with my mission consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms you can find all the links in the description and pinned comment thanks for watching keep coming back